Welcome everyone to my open broadcast software, or OBS as I will be calling it, review and tutorial. Now, before we go any further, we'll go ahead and kill the elephant in the room on the idea of the neat little program known as XSplit, which is just the same as OBS, but the differences are there. Number one difference that will influence a lot of people is the fact that you have to pay for XSplit. Alright, so there's a $15 charge every three months for a fully licensed uh, XSplit. OBS is completely free. You don't have to pay for anything. You just update it. You know, you download it, update it, run it update it, run it, update it, you know, whatever there is, you know, it's all you do. Also, XSplit takes a lot of resources on your computer. So, the issue is going to fall into, it's like recording a video with OBS or recording it with Fraps. OBS videos and OBS itself, less. Fraps, a lot more. So there's your differences. Um, I opt to use OBS because I like OBS a lot more. Um, you can choose whatever you want to. It's fully up to you. Now, as far as the review of, of OBS, <clears throat> the, the things I've noticed about OBS mostly is that, yes, sometimes it does crash. Um, but... When you're looking at free compared to, you know, paying, and then also, you know, you have to have a computer that's able to run it fully, you know, such as like running Fraps or XSplit, and also being able to record or stream your media, it is a big difference. So I'll, I'll accept the crashing for, you know, all that. Setting up OBS is just simple. I mean, you, you click here, you add a scene. You, you, you add window capture, monitor capture, image, image slideshow, text, video capture, game capture. It's that simple. You set them all up. You can set overlays into it. I mean, like, I'll, I'll, add, a, a, I'll add an image right now to this. So we'll go here. We'll browse. We'll go to my desktop. We'll go there. Boom. Got an image on it. Alright. I don't want to see it no more. Boom. Gone. Boom, 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 boom. I don't want it there no more. Remove. I mean, I can, you know, reposition, rename, remove, set the properties, add more, set the order, which is not going to move it up or down. It's a really, really easy program to use. So, we're going to go to settings. Let's click settings. Now, you have general, which is, you know, your language, your English, you know, set profile, there is none here. Notification icon, minim, you know, minimize the notification area, all that stuff. Encoding. There goes your encoding. So if you ever are, you know, looking at, you know, Twitch and you notice, like, there's certain little things that they require you to have. Like, you'll start finding them in these areas, such as, like, your bit rate and stuff of that nature. So, you go in. You typically want to use a, a max bit rate that is less than your upload rate. So, if you have, like, a 5 gig upload, you know, around a 3,000 is going to be pretty decent for you. Um, if you have a 10 gig... Just remember that the quality in which you're doing that in is also going to affect other people. So if you're doing 10, not 10 gig, I'm sorry, I mean megabytes, but megs. <clears throat> so if, if you're using 10 megs, then if you set your max bet rate to, say, 7 megs, a person who doesn't have that great of you know, internet isn't going to be able to watch your stream. Um, Twitch might also start killing you when you start using too much resources, which is also another killer. 
now you have broadcast settings. I can live stream. You're like, oh, look, live stream. And then here you just go through and you set like Twitch. There's your Twitch. Boom. And then you have to, you know, set your, your, your key, which you just find simply by going to You go to Twitch. I'm already signed in, so I'll go to my dashboard. Stream key. Show key. Which I will not do. But Take your stream key, it'd be something, you know, a bunch of letters, numbers, digits. And you just paste it in there. Auto reconnect. All this stuff is set pretty right. You could make it to where it saves it straight to your PC as well. It isn't wise because usually like Twitch will save it for a few days. I'm going to cancel out of that because I don't want any of them settings saved. Then we're going to run a video. My video adapter is a 7950 3 gigabyte card. So base resolution 1920 by 1080 because you know I have a you know that type of monitor. Aspect ratio is a 16 by 9. Resolution downscale is none. My FPS I can change it to whatever I want to 60, 30, 50. I do 40 because it's just it's easier. I disable that crap. But it's it's recommended if you're using your know, monitor capture. You go to audio. I you know tell yourself your audio, make sure your stuff is set right. Hotkeys, your push to talk, um, unmute your mic, start stream, record replay buffer, all that stuff it's it's you know typical push you know, you know, hotkey settings. Then you go up here. Use multiple thread, you know, optimizations, scene buffering time milliseconds, allow other modifications on hotkeys, you know, you go know, here for very fast on your X264 CPU present, present, sorry, encoding profile, Key rate intervals, you know, seconds. Um, I think Twitch is like two, so you know, make sure you do that. Um, all your stuff down here, you can very well see that mine's pretty well set because I just I record, I don't stream all mine. Uh, quick sync, microphone noise gate. See, my microphone, yeah. So, you know, you, that's how you set up for live streaming. Here's an advantage point, though, that that this also gives you. It records just like Fraps does. So I go up here to file only output, set a you know, location. Like my videos will be named like Brian One, Brian Two, Brian Three, Brian Four. Um, this is really nice. Um, replay buffer length, one second. I can set it to whatever I want to. <clears throat> I click save. You know, I click apply if I had to apply. Okay. And now I can start a game. So let's start a game.
as you see, I'm recording a game. Just simply. Ooh, wow, why is it flashing? I guess War Z probably was not the best idea to use for this. We'll kill that one. <clears throat> we will go into something else. Well, run instead of decay. If I didn't screw it up. There we go. So, boom. So, I mean, to show you that it runs really well on recording, <clears throat> you won't be disappointed at all with it. Um, it the quality is just as good as Fraps. Fraps cost money, um, which is a bummer. Let me go kill this, this dude here real fast for you while I'm on here. Boom. Shot him right in the dome piece. I'll do another one. I'll grab the taxi cab. Throw on some headlights. I wish I've ever seen someone else out. I hate the damn screamers. They suck.
But as you see, everything pans out pretty well. System runs great. I'm playing a game, it's recording, I'm able to talk. Um, if I had my webcam hooked up, I could still even do my webcam. <clears throat> um, you know, other than that, I mean, it's, you know, I, I'll boil it down to the fact of saying that it is just like, if not better than XSplit, but it's free. And I know quite a few people like the term free over the term of paying money. So if free is something you like, then you definitely want to, you know, check out OBS. Um, there's a lot of videos out there just like this um, that teach you how to use, you know, OBS. <laughs> Um, I suggest you, you know, you can go check them all out, um, cause every little bit of information you get is, is a big help. Um, and hopefully, you know, you find as much use out of OBS as, you know, me and some of my friends have. And that one might do it. Um... Like I said, just, you know, keep checking back. If there's ever any updates on OBS that, you know, there's a major change, um, you know, I'll teach y'all how to do it. Um, my, my next time I'll do on OBS will teach you how to set videos. You know, like if you're playing CSGO at a 4.3 resolution, how you can still stream it at a 1620 uh, by 19. A 1920 by 600 fucking resolution. Which is, you know... Always something people like. I just made that big dude mad. Uh, Alright guys. I hope this has been interesting for you. If not, I'm sorry. If it has, please click the like button. If you have any questions or comments, um, especially like if you have any questions on how to do something with OBS, just leave them in the comments below. I'll answer them as soon as I see them. Um, and hopefully make everything a little bit easier for you. Yeah, have a great day.